With those buttonskis out of the way, we can take Hollywood by storm! Yeah! People will do anything that Zilla says. We can turn this town upside down! It is a legend no one will forget. Everybody thought the Super Show was as bad as a Mario cartoon could be. And then, the sequel attacked. Deke was back! With the zaniest danger I've ever known, even more animation errors. With their useless Mario trivia, Delfino and Peach will watch every single episode and complete the Super Show saga. Sporty. Uh, something vehicle. It's, yeah. it's really fun. And it's really great. Sporty. What's the U stand for? Sport utility vehicle. Sport utility vehicle. It's really fun. I'm Steve. I love my sporty SUV. <laughs> It's really great. I can't remember the song. I'm glad you know the sporty SUV vehicle song. Thanks. So, S stands for SUV. S is for SUV. No, it's not. The no, S no, is the for... S stands for sport. It does not stand for SUV. <laughs> and with that, welcome to the Super Show Saga. S stands for Super Show Saga. <laughs> I am D for Delfino Durians. And I am P for Peach Supreme. Oh, it's been a while since we've recorded some episodes. We've played a lot of games since we last uh, recorded. Before, we, I've yeah. just been playing Picross all the time. Well, you found a... Well, what happened... We were suddenly into Picross because there was a big E3 sale. And I saw that a Picross game I've been eyeing for a while, Murder by Numbers, was on sale. So I picked it up, and then Peach walks into the room while I'm playing it and is like, P Picross? What's this Picross game Picross? you've picked up? <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, it's like Ace Attorney mixed with Picross. It's really, really fun and really great. <laughs> Scouts, the S in Scout stands for S. S stands for Scout. <laughs> Does I it? love playing Picross, especially when murder is involved. Wee! <laughs> Yay! Finding evidence with fun Picross puzzles. So we were loving murder I found by numbers. three dead bodies! <laughs> so we were loving murder by numbers. Uh, oh we my god, that's so fun. We played it to completion. I couldn't, I can't play it anymore. I've done every single puzzle with no help. The game is... I mean, I could still play the first case because you played so. it before I that's saw That's true. Case. You never saw the... the f I never saw the fateful meeting between Scout and Honor. It was really funny. <laughs> so you should get that game. It's not just Let on Switch. Let me find Switch. your keys. Here's a printer. <laughs> <laughs> I found... I thought you said printer. <laughs> Why on earth would I say print? Why would I keep a printer in my bag? <laughs> Silly little the boy. 90s. But uh, it's a lot of fun. It's not only on Switch. It's on uh, Steam. We're not sponsored by Murder by Numbers in any way. It's just a if ton we were, of fun. Would they make a sequel? <laughs> we really want a sequel because I really like it, and I do appreciate how it's pretty beginner friendly. Like you can turn on an easy mode for if you're not a. <laughs> Picross person because a there were there were some like times some people in this room because <laughs> there were some times when I would be doing a puzzle and we'd get to the end and it's not solved and it's not telling you where it went wrong and you're like <sighs> there were a couple times where we had to wipe the entire board and start we were never tempted to look up the answer though no unlike Mario's Picross well, Mario's Picross is <laughs> agony which I'm so annoyed with I I won't even wipe the screen with it I'm just like go. So well, with that one, you can just start over. Yeah, I guess you can just hit the retry button. So I've I've been playing while she was playing Murder by Numbers. I was playing Mario Picross, and so then I was at work and I'm still in my Picross mood, and I'm like, they probably make a Picross app. They make many Picross yeah, of apps. Of course they do. It's like Sudoku apps and solitaire <laughs> apps. They're everywhere. They're so much fun. So the one I'm playing is called Luna Story. Mm-hmm. It's very fun. It's got normal puzzles. It has normal puzzles, and then it has, like, the big puzzle where it's, like, you have the giant... It's, like, a thousand by a thousand. thousand. 
And so you work it 10 by 10 for each square to make the big picture. So. I, I really like that. The Although, story is intriguing enough for me to keep playing, but at the same time, it's it's slow enough that it's, I'm like... It's kind of mindless it's pick It's very cross. simple and mindless. So. Like, I've never gotten actually stuck. And also, the, the Luna story, it's very, like, it'll tell you if you hit one, if that one is actually well, you have just lives. the one. There's a life system. There's a life system I've never noticed. But I mean, like, if it's... Well, you one, were the one that ran out of lives. Well, if it's one, two, one, and you hit one square, oh, yeah, it'll automatically okay. block out a one. And you're like, oh, I was thinking this could be a two, but thanks, game. You're, you're really helping me out here by not making me think too hard about this. <laughs> All right, but Thanks we are so not much. a pit cross themed podcast. As, <laughs> Sadly, as fun as that would be. No, oh, instead we're talking about the Mario Three cartoon, and today's yes. episode is called Dadzilla. Dadzilla. We yeah. thought about getting our own Dadzilla, but he's busy uh, fixing up the DIY car. And that's uh, I'm pretty sure sputtering. his one consensus on this show would be. Oh, it's so terrible. I hated it. Oh, it's bad. We get him in here and we're like, Dad, what'd you think about Cootie Pie? Oh, she's terrible. What'd you <laughs> think about Koopa? Terrible. The animation's terrible. It's like, Love you, Dad. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad, that this is not movie <laughs> quality Instead, animation. we've just been watching Gravity Falls with Dad. So he, he enjoys Gravity Falls. So. Yeah, he laughs a lot uh, <laughs> with Grunkle Stan stuff. I can relate to this. <laughs> My dad can relate to Grunkle Stan. <laughs> I'm tired during the day. I <laughs> Grandpa can... the kid. He also really likes old man McSucket. <laughs> it's his favorite <laughs> part. It's his favorite part. But uh, we did not get our dad. Uh, if there are any dads listening in, let us know what it's like when you watch this episode. Is it relatable? Can you relate to this? Well, I, I assume that most people that would be listening to this who are dads are young dads. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike our old dad. <laughs> Love you, old dad. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Yeah. It's something I've been feeling lately is it's like, we're all getting old. It's like I'm at that age where everyone I know is starting to have kids. I'm like, it's so weird. I'm not even <laughs> dating anybody. Seriously. <laughs> What's, I'm not even there yet. God, I love, God, I love this top list. It's like, you can watch up to 30 videos and then I get uh, like 10, 10 vid- through and they're like, oh, we ran out of videos. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Is Sorry. <laughs> support local, uh, support official manhua reading sites such as Tappy Toon, Tapas, Letniz, and a Webtoon. I suppose I didn't make a lot of sense. I'm I'm doing video ads while we're doing this podcast because it's something I can do in the background. <laughs> okay, so long as you're not looking at the ad and listening to that instead of. I turned the sound off, so hopefully we. I won't. mean, looking at the ad just to be interested, like, like what's going on? Ah, they get me with those. Things. They get the new way that ads are getting you is that they they play the game badly, and then you want to download the game, and be like, I can play it better. <laughs> so, it's like I I saw one that was like those Pokemon ice sliding puzzles. And I was just like, God, I could do this in my sleep. Like Pokemon puzzle. Well, master? no, no, it's like. It's a grid, and it's got, like, you slide on the ice floor, oh, and you have to paint all the tiles. Like like Wallace's gym in Pokemon yeah. Emerald. Yeah. It's like, that's such an old puzzle. It's like, really? They made an app for that? <laughs> There's an app for that. There's an app for that. It's such an old Uh-oh. saying. There's an app for that. But can you tell that I'm not that interested in this episode? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Dadzilla. So, eh. so it was written by Martha Moran again. They've written one episode in the past, Never Koopa Koopa. And in the past, they had written Plumber's Academy from the Super Show. Those episodes are much better than this one. Plumber's Academy, which, by the way... I feel like they they get the, the shows, the episodes that are really plot relevant. <laughs> you think so? Like, they have they to write do plot with, like, relevant. the real world... Or, like, the lore of the kingdom. I guess they're very, like... Because in Never Koopa Koopa, we see the dynamic between the Mushroom Kingdom and Darkland a little uh-huh. bit. Well, a little, a little tiny bit. Much. Look at it. <laughs> It's, With this show, we get what we get. The crumbs are a feast. Okay. <laughs> we get a few crumbs, okay? <laughs> They're the feast. But, yeah, Plumber's Academy, which was all about where Mario and Luigi got their plumbing roots. 
And Koopa's disguise was not actually a disguise, but a human. It's a co- totally different person. <laughs> it was just it voiced was just by Harvey Atkins. Coincidentally, just as bad as Koopa. So his name was something like Koopa. It was Colonel Coop. Colonel Coop. Coop. Colonel Pop. <laughs> I'm trying to mix Captain. the cat. Whatever does not matter. If you want to listen to people talk about that, you should go to the show show podcast. <sighs> Uh, links in the description, of course. A wink. So, so the episode starts, and Cootie Pie is in her room, and I, on once a month, I will feel what Cootie Pie is, where she's like, I'm so, I'm the most beautiful <laughs> in the kingdom. It's, yeah, sometimes when I'm looking at myself, it's a very I think that. rare occurrence. But sometimes I'll be in the mirror and I'll be like, you know, I'm, I'm, dang. I'm, I'm Dang, looking. I'm you looking look fabulous. I'm looking great. My hair is parted just the way I want it. <laughs> like my skin is clearer than normal. What's going on? I don't know. I know that you don't care about lip syncs, but like, man, it was really off this beginning have, of this episode. I care <laughs> so little about lip syncs. I know. When people complain <laughs> about that. I'm I just like, kept thinking about the Freakazoid clip. I, I let things go free. Because it's like Cootie Pie says half her line and she starts doing her makeup, but she's still saying the line. And then Koopa's so saying his line and then everybody's talking over each other and I'm just like, oh my gosh. I pardon lip syncs because when you're dubbing something in a different language. But they're there's, not. There's, that's the thing. <laughs> I, I, in general, I am forgiving because but one thing I've learned from, from watching from anime, dubs. But this is an American and like cartoon. Chinese movies, all that kind of like Korean stuff. I, I just learned to forgive it because, yeah. But then when it's an American studio using English voices. Maybe he's a he got too much sun. And hey, watch the lip sync, guys. You can't <laughs> sync that up. Cool. That's like a, I don't think anyone was paid enough to care. It very much is like a, I, I see this the as a problem. The very low. <laughs> it's, it's also just a workplace attitude. Like, I mm. understand that this isn't lip synced up correctly, but you know what? I really don't care about if this is good or not. We just need to get it out it's the like door. sometimes what they talk about on what happened. It's like, would you rather we fix this tiny issue or the giant game-breaking bug that's preventing us from playing the entire game? We're doing the giant bug. That's Sorry. Sounds, that sounds like Final Fantasy VII, where there were they were the Q and A department was brought up to Square Enix. It was just Square at the time. That there were a ton of bugs in the original Final Fantasy VII, and the Seven crew is like, okay, we understand your problems, but the game is kind of taped together with gum. So if we take anything out, it's going to fall it, apart. It could so, fall apart, uh, <laughs> and we need to ship it in like a month. So uh, we're just gonna do a little tidy, and that's we'll, it. <laughs> we'll just we'll just hide it, and then everybody finds these problems anyways, because they're really easy to hack into. So Cootie Pie's doing her makeup, but then suddenly Koopa's storming down the stairs, and he's like. Clean your room. Your room better be clean. And I do love, I think it's my favorite animation thing from this episode, is that she's putting on her makeup, <laughs> and then she jolts she her head, and it's just like on our cover. Where you know, I drew that on the cover, and I didn't remember it happening in this episode. It's just something funny that happens when you wear makeup, and you go, <laughs> ah! And your, and your lipstick goes crazy. I mean, I always think about when I'm putting on mascara, it gets all over my And I poke my eye, lip. and then I go, ah! And then I and opened my eyes. Crying, and it's just crazy. brown, black tears. <laughs> that was me when we were trying to do makeup one Halloween. Do you remember that? Yeah, we were dressed up as the Squid Sisters, yes. and I was doing the the black eyeliner for you. And I guess I poked you in the eye or something. I have the twitchiest eyeballs. It's it's <laughs> mutually eye twitched, our I problem. poked you in the eye, and you started crying, black tears. <laughs> <laughs> I should make that a Halloween I had costume to fix that. one year. <laughs> I have made that a costume. What, to cry? Well, it was for the... I was thinking like a Bloody Mary. It was for the zombie event. Just because okay. I hate doing like traditional zombie, it's I'd rather rotting. do Rotting? Like, no. It's like the smell of faux Faux? Skin, F-A-U-X? Skin. Yes. Okay. Like the rubber skin smell is terrible. I hate it so much. The plastic? <laughs> And the fake blood just gets I mean, everywhere. I mean, smelling I that alongside chili is just like, Ugh. you're I asking. I clean it out of the bathroom. And- <laughs> 
<laughs> look like someone had a period accident. I love I love cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> Not when there's fake blood everywhere. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> so so yeah, so yeah. suddenly, so, so Cootie Pie's room a is ten a ten second tidy. So she's a ten second tidy, which I think Peach, you relate to. I knew you were gonna do this. To me. <laughs> I knew you were gonna throw you... me under the bus. <laughs> well, listen, I will, I will accept that my room is also pretty messy. Like there's a giant stack of clothes over there. I have so like, many it's bags. It's messy, but it's messy to the point where I can clean it up quickly if I try. <laughs> Just <laughs> having the time to pick everything. Up. I know it's not like we need to reorganize all your uh, all your notebooks. It's just like put all of the it's notebooks not like in I one have pile. On the floor or you something. don't. Thankfully, we don't have food in our rooms. I don't usually put food in my room, and if I do, then I take. It's like chips or like a wrapper under my bed. <laughs> yeah, I find so many wrappers on the floor. I like fruit snacks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so she quickly. Does what you do when you're a kid and you need to tidy up. Just throw it all Shove into the Shove everything into the closet. I mean, the real <laughs> secret is put it all into the bed. That's the true... Uh, well, her bed was probably bed. already full of stuff. <laughs> okay, so it's... So, because these cleaning and closet sound effects are just crazy. <laughs> so, so, Koopa, there's a really good tracking shot of Koopa walking into the, room. into the room. I think all of the budget went to that tracking shot. Well, the budget clearly didn't go to this next line read. Oh, I really where like... Where like, oh, hi, Dad, I cleaned my... Ah! I really like that line read where she can't, even, she can't even finish her sentence before you know? the closet explodes. It's like, wow. And then Koopa's immediately like, well, you're grounded. <laughs> yeah, I told you. So she can't have any chocolate-covered... Uh, cockroach cockroaches. snacks. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> and then she also good. can't trip old ladies. <laughs> Those are the two things he lists off before he just goes, I, you know, I just, nothing fun, okay? You can't do fun things. Just, you can't like, do fun things. Like eat the bugs. Like eating bugs and tripping old ladies. And heckling the old. <laughs> you can't. Man, but this... I, now I can see how they had this one in Never Koopa Koopa oh, with the retirement home. Oh! They're always at, there's a lot of old people to. And they just like making fun of the old people. It's what they do. So, uh. So, Cootie She's Pie mad. is bemoaning into her mirror, as we all do, when we get into a fight with our parents and we're like. <laughs> She's like, ah, Dad, you're so stinky! And then. Big Mouth. Well, no, she's into- like, hmm, maybe he's not actually my dad. And then Big Mouth, who is eavesdropping in the other room, goes, what What was that? What was that? He's not our dad? <laughs> Does Big Mouth just run around the rooms trying to find drama? Probably. <laughs> like, like it's me trying to find things What's to that? clean up. What? What's that? What's going on? What's going on? Hmm? <laughs> and so I, I'm under the impression that Wendy, so Wendy is like, you know, Big Mouth, what if Dad wasn't really our dad and we actually had a different dad? We're that lives adopted! In we were adopted. I bet our dad's a movie star because we're just the best. And Morton's like, yeah, cool, let's go find him. <laughs> and I'm wondering if, like, Wendy was just saying this because she's mad at Dad and Big Mouth is, like, actually believing it. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like cute. I feel like Big Mouth is just a yes man. He he's is, willing absolutely. to. He's willing to just nod along and be like, Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. This sounds fun. <laughs> okay, I sure, want to go to Hollywood. And get a new dad. Why not? Let's go. I don't have a problem with dad, but sure. <laughs> Let's just get a new one. I'm I'm better than my real dad. So <laughs> this is we're gonna go find a new dad. So, so the, they go to Hollywood. <laughs> but wait, I was gonna comment that mm-hmm. out of all the things that the show predicted, the Koopalings being, being adopted. adopted. <laughs> Is indeed the most true thing that it yep. forecasted. <laughs> what if Dad's not really our dad? Well, Wendy, you might not want to jinx that. <laughs> Oops. Because uh, it turns out it's true. But uh, how do you think? Do you think that story fits into your my, imagination? My head yes. Sure. <laughs> Do, do you Maybe. think all of the Koopalings understood that they weren't Koopa's dad, or do you think some of them were like? I think they all know that. Coop is not actually their dad. Well, I mean, when they're all older, but do you think when they were kids, like... Well, I think they treat him like do, dad and anyway. Well, they were treated that way, but I'm saying mm-hmm. to Cootie Pie, like... She didn't actually think that he was his dad, no. Okay. 
<laughs> That's what I was wondering. You think Annie like lived in disbelief, in denial, <laughs> in denial, <laughs> denial that they're sad orphans? <laughs> That's mean. So, uh, so I've actually also heard of this. Uh, <laughs> The thing about you being related to somebody based on beauty standards. I think it was Jerry Springer. Oh my god. Where it was, I'm not the father. This baby is too, too ugly. ugly. <laughs> and that they did find out at the end that he's not the father. And he's like, yeah, I'm not the <laughs> father. That ugly little monster is not what I would produce. Not my hell spawn. <laughs> I don't know. I just see all babies as the same. When people are like, "Are is my baby just the cutest?" I'm like, it's "Not like kittens." Yeah, kittens. I mean, that's kittens. the thing about kittens. All kittens are cute, but they're kittens, kitten, they're kittens. they're adorable in different ways. Mm-hmm. Like Pepper has the oh, little sp- the little freckles has the little freckles across her it's face. So tiny ears. Bumblebee the has the face. little beauty mark on her oh. face and the little. Hard and butt. Puma has the Puma is Bagheera number two. Oh, they're so cute. They're so adorable. And uh, what was one of the other kittens' names? We had Puma, Pepper, Bumblebee. There was also the Calico, which we haven't named. Chappy! Yeah, Chappy's little mustache! (laughs) We have not named the last Calico. Leave in the comments below uh, what we should name the last Calico. It reminds us of Curly Curl, but we don't want to name another one Curly Curl. Anyways, uh... Oh my goodness. Where were we? Oh, Oh, uh, Mario and Toad are in another morning constitutional. (laughs) Everybody likes, loves taking their morning constitutional. I mean, what else is there to do? They're not really playing. I guess they're sports. looking for fire flowers. <laughs> yeah, they're they're scavenging. I guess. So they're rare. Well, I think it's more so you want a collection. Because I mean, in rainstorm, it's... we see like they have a fire flower crop. Maybe they're just looking for wild ones. I think it's like in Bowser's Fury, where you don't really need to find all of these power ups, but it's nice to have a stockpile. Okay. So they're just looking for a. It's stockpile. also weird to me how the fire flowers are blue. It's like so... I thought that was just the watered down fire flower. But no, it's the correct color. I think it's because in the game they like flash <laughs> colors and like one of the colors they flash is blue and so they're like, oh let's just make it blue. <laughs> it's so weird. But anyways, the colorless doom ship runs just over annihilates the entire frame. It's just like they're standing there and it just overlays right on top of Again, them. this is a layering issue. It needs to be behind the hill, but it looks like it's just running over I mean, Mario it is, and Toad. It's just running over everything. It's like... <laughs> and at first the doom ship is flying out of control and you're like, oh, what the heck? But no, this is indeed on purpose because there's two children trying to drive. Two tiny children. God, Big Mouth is so short. I mean, compared to how big Morton is... In the uh, I really think that Big Mouth is the second youngest out of in the in the canon of the show. Well, isn't the canon of the show that the twins are the, the two twins youngest? are the youngest? But I think Big there's Mouth two is twins, like, third youngest. So he'd be the third youngest. Yes, <laughs> and the oldest is Bully. Uh, maybe Cookie goes in the middle. I feel like Cootie Pie is... Cookie, Cheetsy, and Cootie Pie are all around the same age. I yeah. feel like I've said that before. <laughs> I feel like Cheetsy's second oldest from how he just takes up a lot of stage presence in the show. Probably. Yeah. Was... He's also going through his teenage rebellion phase. Of, of being sneaky and conniving. <laughs> It has his namesake. Dead, dad. Oh, so so the doom ship is driving around like crazy, and it just mows over Toad's house. Is it Toad's it, house or Peach's house? I think it's Toad's house. Peach okay. lives in a castle. It's well, where they always hang Peach out. Peach and Luigi were in the house while it got mowed yeah. over. And Peach goes, what happened? What happened? I'm like, uh, your house got knocked over. What <laughs> she, do you mean, what happened? She says it like Matt McMuscles. What What happened? What happened? (laughs) It's a really fun clip. Oh, well. Uh, So they're going to the real world, which is real trouble, unlike the fake trouble we always have. Which is the normal trouble. This is the Uh, real. This is the real trouble. It is so weird how they call the real. Real estate. They call Earth. I really think they should have called it Earth. I think kids would have understood it being Earth. I don't know. Like, did Mario and Luigi just say the real world so much? I think it's that... The Mushroom Kingdom is a parallel world. 
But, then why are they not the real ones? <laughs> and so, since Mario and Luigi are from Brooklyn, that's their real world, and the Mushroom Kingdom is the parallel world to them, but I don't know. It's don't weird know. to me how everyone in the Mushroom Kingdom calls it the real world. And I'm like, it's... Uh, <laughs> like, is that just the new namesake for it? Uh, but whatever. So, we've gone to Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood! And the background artist was not on top of anything this episode. No. Because <laughs> Cootie Pie's like, look at our floor! Look at the stars in the Walk of Fame! And, and it's, so it's, it's like... concrete. <laughs> it's just concrete. It, but it's like, before she points at it, there's stars. But when she points at it, there's no stars. And then when she stops <laughs> pointing at it, the stars are back. And I'm like, are they like booze? Do they just disappear when you look at them? I didn't even... I have noticed that, but... The stars blink in and out of existence. Thankfully, they've come on to a very important scene. The Mad Zilla is ravaging around the place. Yeah, they're filming the American yeah. version of Godzilla. Which, as we all know, are the, is the terrible version. We should, <laughs> Mad all, Zilla. we should all be watching Jet Jaguar star in with Godzilla. <laughs> not to be confused with Dadzilla, which is the name of this episode. He does not go by the Dadzilla, and they never call it, him the Dadzilla. They never call him Dadzilla. His name is Madzilla. Also, it, it just with the title Dadzilla, weird. you think that it would be like Koopa being a crazy dad. Like, Bridezilla is when a bride's going crazy and is like, I wanted sea foam green. I guess with Dadzilla, I was thinking more like the one that Frankenstein episode uh, of Koopenstein. Yeah, where Koopa turns into a monster. Yeah. But so, it's, it's not. But no, it's just they it's they find Madzilla, who is a robot, by the and, way. And Big Mouth goes, he's so strong! And Cootie Pie and goes, he's so handsome! And handsome! So they're like, he must be our dad because he's a reptile and he's our favorite qualities. Therefore... <laughs> strong and handsome. <laughs> therefore, he is our thing. So the... So Madzilla is an animatronic, and I'm guessing that the director is just being like tongue in cheek and being like, "All right, you big bag of like you big bag of bolts." Like he's just talking to him like he's real, even though he knows it's. it's but not a real insulting thing. this animatronic is why it's growing a brain and attacking you, sir. <laughs> so, so Cootie Pie and it big is kind of cute how they go up to him and they're like, "Dad, Dad, 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 Dad why are you sleeping?" Here, we'll bring you back to life with our magic wand. How does their magic work? I don't know. The most generous, like, anything can happen explanation I can give is that they think of a spell and it comes true when it's they like hit It's like Frosty it. the Snowman. But my question is, what spell Happy were they... Happy birthday! What spell were they thinking of? Wake up, dad equals give him a brain and personality? <laughs> I don't Make know. Him Maybe living? Morton was thinking that it was real, and Wendy Cootie was like, was... "Yeah, I know it's a robot, but we're gonna make it our dad." Okay, okay. this is a combination. <laughs> also, the director, it, on a side note, he looks like Astro uh, Boy's dad. He's, he really? reminds, yeah, he reminds me of Doctor Light. <laughs> I thought he kind of looked like. Really, really Ooh, you're having a lot of fun recording this episode, aren't you? What else? Peach, he, um, Peach, wake Steven up. Steven Spielberg. That, that's Steven's, I, I mean, about. that's obviously what they're going for. When they drew him in Animaniacs, anyway. Yeah, I understand that. Was Spielberg big back then? I don't remember. Yes, E.T., Back to the Future. When did those come out, though? That was like 85. Oh, okay. It was in the early 80s, so All this right. was right after that. Makes sense. And this is right before Jurassic Park. Did he direct Jurassic Park? I thought so. I I think so too, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Anyways, I like how the director assumes that the kids snuck onto the set in weird costumes because out of all <laughs> of the Koopaling interactions we've had such far, they would fit in the most on a movie set for yeah. a Godzilla movie. Yeah, like trying to wedge their way in and be like, "We're we're, oh, we're Godzilla's kids, grandkids. <laughs> Just let us be in the movie. We have lots of great lines." <laughs> and he's like, "All right, get them out of here. These kids don't know what they're doing." But oh, the clearly they do because then Madzilla scares everyone away by coming to life. He snorts in the face and he's like, Ooh! So, Kooky, Kooky, Cootie Pie and Big Mouth run up to Madzilla and, and go, Dad! 
dad. And he's like, dad? And dad? What? And, and they thoroughly <laughs> gaslight their way into a new dad. They're like, wow. remember dad? Remember all these things that totally happened and we're not just you making up, up right now? for adoption and all this stuff. And and, like, because you wanted Whoa. to think about being a movie star. And now we want to be movie stars, dad. And he's like, oh, okay, I guess you're right. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, why would these kids lie to me? I've just been born. I've just come to life, so mm-hmm. whatever. <laughs> I love Kudupa's face here. She's got like the line. Oh, like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, where she goes. Mm-hmm. I was thinking of that one too. So <laughs> she the kids, like a frog. so the kids are immediately demanding things from their new dad. They're like, well, since you're our dad, you have to give us presents. So first, they want a limousine. So a convertible. He wants a convertible. So they, so he just picks up a car from the highway and tears a sunroof off. He's like, all right. Uh, here we go, convertible, <laughs> and then they're just more needy, even more so. And they're like, "No, we want it, it really to be is. a stretch limo, a stretch limo." And so he stretches the limo. <laughs> Which I wish physically stretching the car worked like that in real life. It would be like if you don't want the if you want the car to flow, that you could just like remove the wheels and be like whoop, and it would just be a floating car. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. You are super tired. Oh, I... Okay. So, so then... It really you... is if you give a Koopa a, co- a cookie. Yeah, they're gonna ask want for their more milk. Stuff. And then you give them the milk and they want... I don't know, because it's like when he stretches out the car, like, Cootie Pie, like, gives him... Yeah, the, 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 the finger. Like, come here. <laughs> not the yeah. finger. So, <laughs> that, they're just like, tells the, him to the, come the, here. The beckon. And so I thought she was going to, like, give him a little kiss on the cheek. Like, oh, Dad, you're the best. And instead, she's like, Dad, we want to be movie stars. Yeah. 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 The, the responsibility as a parent is to do what we want all of the time. Yeah, like, you think if they were trying to, like, pull the long con, they would be like, Oh, Dad, you're the sweetest. We, we love, love you. Jinx. Could you give us more stuff? Well, well, we well anything just... for my kids. Like, uh, it's very much like an obligatory. the kids are, like, just mean. They're just so <laughs> they needy. They just want stuff. And the and Dad, and Madzilla is just too... He has a heart of gold. <laughs> he has a heart of gold because like he's, just, he's just been born. <laughs> he's just been brought to life, so... He doesn't oh, know. He doesn't kids. know about things like cheating or lying. So he just thinks everything is the truth, and he's like, "Okay, I'll okay. I'll do it for you." So thankfully, the Mario Bros. find a way into Hollywood, and I will say, Toast well, to through the California sewer system. <laughs> disgusting, disgusting sewer yeah. system. Which I will give credence to Toadstool. Hollywood is pretty gross. Yeah, it's like you when, think of the shining lights and everything. No, and that's like, just the props. That's that's like on the surface. The it's not the seedy underbelly of Hollywood. And even then, it's just like a quarter of the surface. Mm-hmm. The rest of it is like discount mob shops with like bars in the windows so you don't break the windows and steal their stuff. Just disgusting litter. Souvenirs. Everyone trying to con you out mm-hmm. of money either because like, they're ugh. just, they're, they just depend they on it. it. It's gross. The fame is gross, kids. I don't. like how she calls it the Hollywood Kingdom. It's really funny. <laughs> we have to like, go to Hollywood. That's, that's how she probably thinks of it. Everything's a everything's everything a monarchy. is a kingdom. <laughs> I do well, like. because in the Mushroom Kingdom, like there's the desert land and whatever. They're all kingdoms. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> So she's like, oh, this is the famous Hollywood kingdom. But it sure is disgusting. There's a banana peel in the waterway, and it's like, eh, don't worry about it. <laughs> At least that, that banana peel's gonna, like, decompose. At least she didn't find it. <laughs> what, what was it in... Oh, I was... The Radigator? <laughs> uh, At least you didn't find a Radigator? Oh, yeah, in Brooklyn! <laughs> in Brooklyn. <laughs> I thought you were gonna mention how, like, in Gravity Falls, when the gnomes are all running away and one of them gets stuck in a... No, it's when one of them gets stuck in those bottle, uh... Oh, yeah, the, things. like, hand caddy Yeah, things. that you get your head stuck mm-hmm. in and you're like... I, I always make sure to... I, I feel like I'm doing a good service to the world. I'm really not. I Can always I always clip them like crazy, mm-hmm. just so they're one big long string. So it's like, if something did die from this... It would have to be a really I long. It, up like it, it would have to be a really complicated knot. Like I'm curious if Mom's piano playing will be in this episode. I think it's fun if it is. I don't think it takes it's a away. Background. It's All better right. than like 
the Chicalas, which by the way, we are, are out gone. of, we're, we're out of sea. We're from Chicalas. We're free. I'm so happy. They, you, you keep saying they'll, they'll return in a second wave, but I haven't been. Well, the waves are just going around the country. Oh, well, no, that's not how broods work. I don't know. Broods work in sections. So like every year, a periodical group of cicadas will destroy the world. <laughs> So, yeah, so we just had our brood, but yeah. all that stuff. Anyways, uh... Luigi so, has a weird voice line. He does? Did you write it I down? I don't know. It's when he's talking about Madzilla. He's like, it's Madzilla. You don't remember Mario. We used to watch him on the Midnight movie in Brooklyn. And it feels like Tony Rosado just said that line in his regular voice because he's not doing the Luigi voice at all. Oh, he's not being nervous. Yeah, Brooklyn movie night. Because usually he really presses on the Italian accent. Yeah. And here it's like, I don't well, know, yeah, movie. we used to watch the Midnight movie. Bro- I mean, we used to watch the Midnight the movie in the Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Luigi. Wrong so, voice. <laughs> so they run up. So they recognize Madzilla. I thought hmm. he said Modzilla. I thought he said Dadzilla. <laughs> They're just not good at pronouncing yeah, names. Anyways, so they run into Cootie Pie, Big Mouth, and Madzilla. And so Cootie Pie is like, uh oh. Ooh, uh, we better get rid of them. And they just continue to wind their way Daddy! into victory. Like this poor, this mean man came to beat us up. You gotta help us. Hey, I never did anything that they didn't deserve. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Mario. Dang, Mario. I like, you know what? Mario's not a liar. Hey, he's he's not saying truth. I've never done anything to them. He just says. They well, deserved it. They deserved it. <laughs> like when she took over the White House and I moved her back home. And I gave her a space. So yeah, the fire flower colors on Mario are just all over the place. I don't because... know. They look like his <laughs> well, uh, they do builder look... Mario outfit. <laughs> Maybe they took inspiration no, well. for that. But it's like orange I don't and know. red. I think it's weird that he pulls out the fire flower and it just looks like a, one of those random flowers that you find that you're, you're like, uh, he loves me, he loves me not flowers. <laughs> really? Because usually it's like the connection. Usually they draw it like the way it kind of looks in the game. Mm-hmm. But like here it was just like a flower that's blue. <laughs> yeah. So they're like, uh-oh, I don't think our dad's gonna have a good time fighting, uh fighting Mario, so they just use their wands to get a hit on him. Yeah. Which, to be fair, is what happens in the games. You know, you just get hit with the wand, and you're like, ah. (laughs) So he goes, back off, Modzilla! (laughs) It just sounds like Modzilla. So So they all run away, and Toad doesn't have any shoes. (laughs) I did not notice that Toad lost shoes. Well, either he doesn't have shoes, or they colored his feet flesh colored he's, he's he's not wearing everyone's shoes. colors are really weird i worry scene, for toad's toad feet now because he's gonna step on some glass or a Ugh. needle you, you, you really it's disgusting really, really so gross. anyways so cootie pie and big mouth have well, a yeah. reflection revelation which is like we can do anything we want now that dad's here and cootie pie goes yeah yeah I I think what was supposed to happen was that her line was supposed to be longer because there's a very long pause between her saying, yeah. Yeah. And then she takes a big breath. She goes, "Mm, yeah. (laughs) We came to, it's just such a big, long pause that you could tell that the line read was supposed to be longer. I thought she was about to deck him in the face. No. No. We have to do this. (laughs) But I really did love her line read of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love her sugar heart attack. <laughs> poyo poyo pink sugar yeah. heart attack. Mwah. Where she goes Mwah, Where and she, like all these hearts just a like ray of hearts. Okay. It's worth out. mentioning we are in a new scene where Cootie We're Pie and Big Mouth fame. are getting their stars in the walk of fame, so she's giving kisses to all. <laughs> so <laughs> Apparently you're doing footprints in the Hall of Fame. That's the new thing. I guess. I thought it was handprints. So she prints. just, Is I it? thought it was handprints. And I thought it was like a gold-plated thing, but whatever, I guess it's concrete. Listen. I don't know, she steps in the concrete with the shoes and then Morton like does like a cannonball into it and I was half expecting her to deck him in the face for that. Oh! <laughs> like when he just splurts on the concrete. Like, you be disrespectful! 
<laughs> it's like one of our favorite bits of uh, Mario and Luigi pay for jam. Oh, it's, it's where, where Roy you take and off Wendy, Wendy have a battle together. And so Roy goes to throw a rock at you. And if you deflect it properly, properly, then he'll drop the rock on Wendy by accident. And then he'll go, oh, no. Because then Wendy, Wendy will immediately beat the crap out of him. I like how the new pattern with Wendy is... She is the most fearsome. She is the like, scariest. Like, she's all about beauty and appearances. And, like, oh, I'm so cute and, and sweet. And it's not so much as, like, I'm a tough girl, but it's just, like, I'm a beautiful woman, okay? Don't she's even try me. Fatale. Don't try me. Don't even. <laughs> Don't even. You're gonna come at me with that? No. Right in front of my salad? Oh, you asked for it. Like, that's, that's, that's Wendy's new personality. <laughs> so, this footprint in the Hall of Fame is turning more into a heel print. Well, <laughs> because Madzilla just slips everywhere. I'm like, did they put banana peels in the concrete It's like, now? it's like, it's, it reminds me of a Clifford the Big Red Dog episode. Oh. Do you know the one where they're trying to make a pool... And then for some reason... Oh, they reason, use his paw print. Yeah, and, they, yeah. and they're trying to put their paw prints, like, as, like, a, ah, oh, you know, they participated, and it's a memory, and they're trying to do that, but Clifford's just so it big, so he can't big. leave makes, a paw print it anywhere. It makes a crater in the sidewalk. Like, there's one where he tried to make a paw print in the sand, and then it washes away. He tried to make one in the grass, and then they just mowed over it. And they found that the best solution was to make it with the new pool paving, and it became the kiddie pool because it's, it's so just cute. the right size Aww, and adorable. the right like depth for kids. <laughs> so I was thinking of that where it's a giant footprint for Modzilla, Madzilla, and so hence, Madzilla? so he starts slipping. Sadzilla, <laughs> Sadzilla. Well, now he's Sadzilla. Rad, Radzilla, Radzilla. <laughs> Oh well, Mario's got a facelift! <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I love Toad's line. Hey, Mario, you got a facelift! <laughs> yeah, just and, makes you think of Mario Party. And I really do like the sound design when Mario's talking yeah. with this uh, monster head on, mm -hmm. where it's muffled. I will say, I'm giving the sound designers full props when we're listening to this show. They got better after the beginning of this episode. Yeah. <laughs> where it's like when. It's just lots of fun details. Like, mm -hmm. location is mattering in terms of these lines being <gasps> read. I mean, that one, Beauty of Cootie is still is. I'm, I'm telling you, that's, that's constipation noises. Mario, quick go into the bathroom. We gotta fix the pipes, not break them worse. Well, listen, I'm gonna clean it out anyways, Luigi. No one's gonna miss, notice. So, Mario walks up with a prop monster head on, and he's like... There's a bunch of props in this old abandoned garage. It's like a warehouse, and then... Uh, and then he's holding one, and then Luigi's like, oh yeah, I remember exactly what that is. That's from Revel Revenge of Madzilla's Mom. It's like Luigi's having a Just fun Luigi, nostalgia like, trip. Like goofy horror movies. I mean, I'm assuming what Brooklyn movie night would be was, it's like... Like Spengoolie. Yeah, mm -hmm. where it's like, you run out of good movies, so you just be like, Plan 9 from Outer Your Space. <laughs> Uh, what's another? Being from outer space. Being from outer space. <laughs> or no, it's being from another planet. It's the one with the Segway. It's the one with the Segway. <laughs> the uh, Segway mummy. mummy. <laughs> you could. There was a mystery science theater, right. like pod people. I imagine <laughs> that it, maybe they went to like an old movie theater and just pulled out whatever old movies they could get their hands on for cheap. Probably. It's like best of the worst, but. Red Letter Media's. Oh. So Mario's got a, a plan, but before Mario can enact his plan, we've got to have a concert. Well, yeah, I love this. I love this entire scene. This so, scene. so Madzilla's getting really tired of these two troublemakers. He's like, being a parent is hard work. I need a nap. I mean, it's it's, it's like true. there's the energy. I feel like the true pain of being a parent is just like the constant. You can't even sleep. It's like, because in the middle of the night, the kid wakes up and you got to take care of him. And you're just like, oh. uh, I asked mom because she noticed that I've been wearing my watch a lot. And she's like, when, when you guys were kids, I would wear a watch and, you know, your father and I would swap out uh, staying up to watch us. Aww, that's so <laughs> we, were, we have good parents. So it's a real pain. Uh, 
for Dadzilla to be taking care of these kids, but they're demanding a more and more, a, more and more. They want we a want concert. We want to have a concert at the S- what's it called? I don't Sydney know. Auditorium, the I don't Car- know. C- Carnegie Hall. That's in, no, New York. That's in New York. I don't know where it is. But it's like a. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a dome where Mozart's it having kind a concert. Of, it kind of looks like the Sydney Comb, but not as cool as the Sydney Comb. I guess. Where it's like an amphitheater halfway. So instead so, of taking them there, he just drags the so dome he grabs, to where they are. So he grabs this comb shell, but the piano player, I feel like it was a slight Mozart or no, Beethoven reference, mm-hmm. where he's just he doesn't playing, notice. He doesn't notice it, and he's like, I'm just having my concert. And it's like how uh, Beethoven was deaf, and he didn't know that everyone enjoyed his concert until someone had to someone, physically, like, physically turn, turn him around, him around and be like, look, look they're they standing love and loving it. I mean, my real question is, how did Beethoven compose stuff? Did you just understand music theory to know what sounded good? I feel like he memorized it back when he could hear. Okay. And then, like, by the time he went completely deaf, he just had to go with okay. what he thought. Okay, so it's not like he was always... He wasn't always deaf, but he went deaf as he uh, got as you... older. Speaking of, how are your ears doing, Peach? They're good. I cleaned them out the other day. I, uh, you say the other day. That was like two, three weeks ago. I don't know if we recorded since it's, then. It's been a while, but you were having hearing problems. <laughs> I was. <laughs> and I, then... saw, I went to the doctor, and they're like, why don't you use that stuff that cleared, cleaned your earwax out? And I'm like, okay, I guess. And so, like, it was just so bad. And I'm like, oh, man, uh, this will never work. And then, like, I'd been It was using, a week. It'd been, like, a week. And so I'd been using the drops in my ear, and so then I would take a bulb and, like, flush water in it. And so one day I was flushing the water, and it just went... <laughs> it was... <laughs> You said it looked like I blew chunks all over the sink. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to get too graphic because apparently Peach and I are so graphic when we talk about things. As one that thing we're I will... banned from talking at dinner. <laughs> yeah, about anything anatomy, anything about f- other foods, but it was like it was everywhere. Like <laughs> it was like it's not wax is not as fluid as you think. It was like orange brown yellow it needed to get chunks. out chunks <laughs> it was like ah like when it was still it would be fine but then it'd be moving and i'm like ah <laughs> that's my that's my thing with bodily fluids i'm really okay with like people are like i'm scared of blood or like i'm so embarrassed about blood i'm like blood is fine but when blood is moving I have a problem with it. Like, mm-hmm. I don't care too much about when I'm giving blood, but when I see it actually moving through the... Leaving your body. Leaving my body, I'm like, I'm ah! losing HP. <laughs> oh, my an- precious life feeling. Also, that was another thing that happened this past week. You uh, gave blood and almost passed out. I had a little bit of anemia. I've, I've never had it before. The first time I gave blood, I was really worried about it. And then they're like, oh, you're done. And I'm like, what? But this time, I admittedly... I ate Searle for most of the Searle. day. Searle. Oh, that so good. Um, it was not nutritious in the slightest. Searle is not, you should not live based on Searle. Searle. So I I wasn't drinking enough water and I didn't eat the peanut butter crackers, which mom had admittedly, she was really asking me to. I was like, I'm fine. I ate pancakes. I'm fine on protein. I had a bunch of sugars. I've had sugars. So then I'm sitting there and it's summer. And I'm thinking that me being really sweaty is because it's hot. (laughs) And it's like, it's, it's like the prime time for heat index. And I'm just sitting there and I'm watching a defunct land talk about, uh, action park. (laughs) It was the park in New Jersey. That's just like, (laughs) <laughs> just accident park and i'm like oh this is i shouldn't be watching this so this is making me like oh this is not something to be watching hearing about injuries while i'm giving blood and i'm like i'll just i'll close my eyes and suddenly there were like three nurses around me be like all right just keep your here like we'll put this cold thing on your head just, what kind of juice do you want and i'm like apple <laughs> Apple juice. And, I, and I, I, then they gave me an apple juice, and then in like three minutes, 
it was fine. <laughs> like nothing happened. And then, and then mom's goodness. like, I told you, but really mom is the one with the problems because her veins are the so skinny. Veins. Our mother has tiny hands and tiny veins. They're like, can we even get blood? <laughs> Yes, you can. Alrighty, we're getting off track. That's we it. got a concert to go to. We do have a concert, but uh, so they so they put the comb down. I call it a comb because it reminds me of like a seashell. It's a dome. It's a dome. It's not a comb. It's, it's so a they dome, put not a comb. the they put the dome down, mm-hmm. and Cootie Pie and Big Mouth start singing. Oh and my I gosh. and out of all of the songs this. Uh, that we've listened to, this one is the most purposeful yeah. in being bad. Because it's two spoiled rotten kids just singing their head off and think. being like, we gotta rock the party and do it yeah. good. I, I just love how everyone immediately hates it. And immediately it. everyone's running away and suddenly... They don't even run away, they're... They're like, oh, oh this, this is, is horrible. Let's throw things at them. It's like an avalanche. It, it just they throw everything, including the kitchen sink, at them. It is it's truly like, like at they first start it's with like tomatoes, souvenirs and tomatoes, tomatoes but then and they start like throwing an ice entire cream, purses, an entire tree, trash cans, a hot dog cart. Po- I like when they throw the palm tree. It kind of makes it look like a beach. <laughs> like it accidentally turns the the scenery into something good. Good, where it's like a funny it's adding to the thing. scenery, and so suddenly Cootie Pie, and so they actually zoom in, and it's disgusting on stage. Oh my god, it's just so much trash. And then Cootie Pie steps in some pee. Oh, gross! And she's like, Ah! Oh my god! I think it's actually mustard, but you know what? We're calling it oh, pee. Oh, it looks like pineapple juice. We're calling it pee. So <laughs> we go back to Mario yes, and Co. And so they have come up with their grand plan, which is they've Mom-zilla. haphazardly put a bunch of movie props together to, to make- recreate Mod ma- Mom Mods. <laughs> Momzilla. Momzilla, which is a real monster that, you know, it's been in movies before. It's not like a total fabrication, but Mario pops out of the chest like alien. Because yeah. they forgot to draw a little like door, the little inside or the yeah. door, so, so it's just, just like, like Mario. He just looks like he's connected thing. to it. It's so like Akira. <laughs> the throwing things are just—it just does not stop. Even after Cootie Pie stepped in the pee, it's just like an avalanche. So they don't throw crap until Dadzilla wakes up. And is well, like, they throw hey. something at Dadzilla, and he's like, "Oh, a good job, kids! You're doing a great job, like doing great." And suddenly, as soon as uh, Dadzilla starts like going, you moving. making fun of my kids and moving. Everyone's just immediately terrified and they start running. Like, how do you guys They're not like, expect hey, we're this? We're fine making fun of these two children, but oh, uh. So he picks up some people and he's like, oh, you think you're something cool, huh? I'll throw you in the ocean with the shrimp. <laughs> with the shrimp? It's like, what? where did the Laugh shrimp, the shrimp. Come? Where did uh, put the shrimp on a Barbie? <laughs> like, where is the shrimp coming from? Did someone just really like shrimp? So suddenly, Momzilla comes onto the scene, and and Mario's <laughs> fake mom voice. I love Mario's fake mom so voice. so funny because there's like an there's a layer of echo like to it. It's not like when Captain Lou was doing the fake mom <gasps> voice. Oh, how did I, I don't remember? Oh, your boys, you gotta clean your room. Okay, we're like weak. This is like Mario, you're terrible. (laughs) It was kind of kind of like Jewish, I guess. Or is Grandma Ruffin? Or you think Grandma Ruffin? Oh, you're just such a disappointment. (laughs) Oh, Ruffykins. I said you you never listen to your grandma. I sent you a cake in the mail. I hope it was you ate it. Oh yeah, Grandma, it was great. It's just delicious. I know you. I know you just fed it to your mouse assistant to chat chat oh, let blossom me... you're such a dear i don't know how you deal with that ruffykins and then, <laughs> and then blossom does her cute blinks Blink. <laughs> come on grandma <laughs> i love how all the voices of the other rough 
Like every Relatives. single person is voiced by him. It's just, just him, him Conroy. some more. <laughs> anyway, Mario does a great mom voice. It is great because there's a part where it's like two voices layered on, but then when they cut inside, it's oh, just yeah. one voice. It's Mario doing his mom voice, and, to and be outside fair, it, there's like a little layer. It's to like it. they put an echo box, mm-hmm. some sort of to sound box kind of that sound Mario's like talking to, to, but I really love his voice. <laughs> I hope we'll play the clip. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it calls him Junior. Another thing this show predicted: the son being Junior. I mean, that's just a thing that happens in real life. I guess okay. so. <laughs> so this, sh- so the show is teaching an important lesson that in the family tree, the real boss of the family is not the dad; it's the mom. The mom. <laughs> Moms and wives are the real boss. Yep. Is. <laughs> What uh, was it? A teacher. She's like, I'm your mom. A teacher like, once. Oh, okay, mom. A teacher once told me a uh, a story, which is like when all, when all the husbands go to heaven, uh, it's there's like a dividing line, and the angel says, "All right, all of the husbands who listen to your listen to your wives go in this line, and everybody else." who is independent, who doesn't listen to their wives, they're the boss, go into the other line. And so all of the men go into the first line, but there's one person in the other line. And so the angel goes over and is like, oh, oh, that's pretty independent of you. Why are you in this line? And the husband goes, well, my wife told me to get into this line. (laughs) So it's the eternal answer, but mom... (laughs) <laughs> Mom's in the bus. So Mario's also super multitasking. To he's talking, he's making up a whole story, and he's having to like pull Pilot levers, this giant mech. move the switch, the brakes, all these crazy things. Like Mario's super working. <laughs> I mean, hard. he doesn't break character the whole time. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a really good job. But like, Mom's you'd think, like his hand would fall off or something, so, and he'd have to like be like, oh. This just happened, sweetie. <laughs> so Momzilla comes in and she's like, All right, Junior, you've got new little grandkids. Oh, oh how cute. Let's put them in their nappy naps. Time for a nappy nap. And they're like, you don't want a nappy and he's nap. Like, but you need the energy to do your chores. We need so, a nappy nap. We need I a, want nappy a nappy nap. nap. <laughs> so so then Cootie Pie, she waves over Big Mouth is like, Big Mouth? I'm beginning to think these aren't our real family, but I love how she waves them over. Big Mouth, this isn't our real this family. This isn't working and out for us. us. Oh, okay. <laughs> and also, yeah. the only thing that's really tired is Big Mouth's uh, layer scanner because his arm just disappears. Oh, I was tired. I didn't notice. That. I noticed him. So, so thankfully, Cootie Pie and Big Mouth they go back home to their real dad. I guess to serve out their punishment for, I don't know, being bad. I don't know their punishment <laughs> for breaking the doom ship for doing their chores. I don't, so I think he'll be very happy. So with thankfully, that one. so I really like the ending of this episode. So oh, me too. Yeah. So Mario jumps out of the Momzilla outfit, and they very calmly explain to him like. Look, I, I'm sorry, I was faking as your mother because they weren't your real kids. Also, you're a robot. Also, <laughs> you were indeed... Hold on. We're back again. We have places to be. There's lots of noises happening in the house. Anyways. Like, no, we don't. <laughs> just kidding. It's mean. Anyways, so... They're just rationally explaining things to him, and Madzilla is taking it in pretty tandem. And instead of like using their okay. magic, like stealing the wand and ma- like, putting right, him back, we'll into, a back robot, into a robot, it's like witness protection program. They're like, no, we're just gonna take you to Giant Land where you can hang out. Yeah, you, we're gonna relocate you, get you a new home in Giant Land. He's like, do I have to have any kids? And they're like, no. no. <laughs> and he's like, phew. <laughs> But I really like this episode because it's like there's there's yeah. no real continuity. Like I doubt we're gonna see Madzilla in Giant Land again. Mm-hmm. But it was a happy ending. We're not just like yeah. we're not like all right, killing you're evil. Him. So we're just gonna turn you back into a robot. It's like nah, he's fine. He's yeah. a nice dude. He's doing good. He just doesn't want kids right now. <laughs> yeah. 
So, Peach, who is your most valuable paisano? I liked Momzilla. Really? I was gonna give it to Mario. Well, Mario is Momzilla, so... Would you transform it into Mario? Mariozilla? <laughs> Mario. Just because Mario, he really pulls in the work for acting as the, uh... Acting as the, I'm losing. As the momzilla. As the momzilla, thank you. I'm yeah. losing my words. He comes uh, up with the whole plan. He's the one that's going out to look for fire flowers. Yeah, he's pretty uh, proactive this episode. Mm-hmm. I'll give it to him. Everyone else is like a little cart along. Yep. And, and <laughs> Kuki. And Kuki would get my second most valuable paisano. Cootie yeah. pie. Just because she had a lot of fun line reads, yeah. I found. I found them to be fun. Up, oh, We gotta go! We gotta go! Alright, MVP is Mario. Where Mario? Where can we? Yeah, Mario. This episode was kind of boring. Okay. Hey, but we made it work. Look, we recorded a lot. So. Yes, we did. Alright. Alright, so you can find me at delfinodarians.tumblr.com. And you can find me at peachsupremeart.tumblr.com. Our outro was conform- conformed. Conformed <laughs> by Taylor. Taylor Lair. Lair. You can find her music at tlair.bandcamp.com. That is T, the letter T, L A I R E dot bandcamp.com. You can also listen to this podcast early on Mondays on YouTube or Wednesdays, Wednesdays on podcast services, Spoofy and Apple Podcasts. Nice way to speed up that outro. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> We're running out of time. Yeah, we got time. It's fine. <laughs> You're gonna say that, but. Oh, well. <laughs> Tune in next week for the, the next episode, which is the next one. Yeah. Yep, that, that's the thing. We got a fun <laughs> surprise for you next episode. Ooh, yes, so we do. Be sure to subscribe to us on Spoofy, Apple, and YouTube, please. Bye, Zani. Bye, Rested for your chores. We hate chores.